Okay, now we're coming to the X reads, and these are the um, these are the ones that you won't have um, come across before. Um, if I show you um, a normal um, sub thirty read plate without um, the over valve plate on it, you can see the X reads are these. Um, they're all all the X reads are on the top read plate, and they are these ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the X reads, um, and then um, in the top four holes the x reads are these blow reads seven eight nine ten okay now at the moment this is a raw read plate so they're not adjusted for their correct setting um but um they are normally sitting flush with or slightly below the uh the edge of the read plate so let's just zoom in i'll show you how to you know how they're normally gapped um where are we here we go so um, here's number three, the X read on hole number three. Now that's at the moment that's sitting above the read plate, so it will make a sound if I suck it. Okay. Now, it, to, to to work as an X read, it needs to be pushed into the read plate slightly, bent in, so that the actual setting of it is now flush with the. I'll do that on this one here as well. So you can see how they look from the edge. I'll do it on all of them. So now, if you look at the um, look at that, if I can show you, looking at that, you can see that those draw reads do not have a gap. That, I hope that's um, obvious. Maybe. Okay, so they're sitting inside the. Um, the the edge of the the reed plate and how far they sit in is quite important um, if you if they sit in a long long way um, the the bend will still work um, let me put a cover plate on this harp and uh, so I can show you so um, now say I, I get a five blow um, the X reed is adjusted pretty well right I think so I can bend that five blow as I want it to, um, and then I can also hit the, 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 the bend straight away. So I can hit all those, um, those blow bends as bends without having to um, uh, you know quite easily and I can creep down down from above or, or start on a bend and go up as, a, as with a normal bend um, if I push the um, the X read in um, quite a bit further um, it'll still work but the but trying to hit it on the bend will um, will be less uh, I'm just going to be fairly dramatic with this one I'm pushing it in quite a long way um, and now let's see what happens. So the actual functionality of the X-Read is really lost. Um, I'll probably push it way too far. But even if it's um, just a little bit too far, so it's working. But when I try and hit it on the band, it's a little bit sluggish. So you want to um, just raise the um, the 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 X read um, to you know the the highest point it'll it'll be while it still works as an X read. Um, so if I go the other extreme and push it way out of the slot, um, see what happens. Nothing happens. It won't work as an X read. So it needs to be in that happy medium where it's sitting level with or slightly below the edge of the of the read plate and that's your optimum setting for the x read okay um, now the same goes for the upper x reads which are these blow reads here okay so um, in the bottom six holes the x reads are the draw reads um, just getting that read plate again you can see them the, the, the these bottom um, I'll just zoom out here slightly 
They're the, um, the one, two, three, four, five, six. They're the draw reeds. In the top, um, as I said earlier, they're these blow reeds here. And these are the, the adjustment of these is fairly critical. Um, if you have the X reed um, set right, you're going to be able to get nice draw bends up there. Um, so here's eight draw, seven draw, nine draw, and ten draw. And you can get all your normal blow bends as well. Okay, so, um, and those are set so that if I want to hit the bend, it comes in quite nicely um, on the bend. You have to um, adjust your playing style a little bit with these things. You can't attack them in exactly the same way as you would with a normal harp. So if the, re if the bend doesn't come in instantly when you attack it really hard, you might want to just, you know, adjust your playing style. Don't, don't blame the harp because it's probably that you're just playing in an old-fashioned way, if you like, well, uh, the way you would on a, um, on, a, on a stock, normal old harp. Um, you're probably attacking a high draw bend like you would a four draw or a, or a two draw. Um, you've just got to, you know, nuance it a little bit. Um, um, so, you know, there's a bit of, um, you know, operator training um, going on. And if, you, if things are wrong, it's sometimes operator error. It's not necessarily the, you know, the harp. But you can tweak the reeds um, to, you know, to, uh, to work subtly differently. I'll try and show you how that works. Okay, so these um, upper... Um, upper X reeds are um, set pretty nice now but I'll show you what happens if they're not okay let's go to the let's go to one extreme say on eight um, the the X reed on hole eight if I push that down so that it's acting like a you know it's got a normal gap um, you'll find that when I blow I'll get two notes so I'm getting my normal blow um, on a C harp that's an E note and I'm also getting the X reed, which is in this case a C note. Now, if I push my um, put my thumb over the um, to to close off the um, the normal blow bend on hole eight, only the X reed will sound. Okay, um, but then when I take my thumb off, um, you'll get, you'll hear both feet. So that's not what you want. You just want to hear the um, the active reed sounding. So basically, that little reed there needs to be pushed up to the point where it doesn't sound when you blow normally. So now I've only got the, I've only got that E note sounding, which is what I want. Um, again, the, 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 the amount you push it in, I think I've got it pretty well right there, but if I push that too far, I'll probably find, push it in quite extremely, uh, and you know, so it's almost pushing out almost right the other side of the reed plate when I tr do the draw I can still get it but but getting it on a bend is harder to do okay so you you know it blanks out so you've got to basically push it down another fraction of a millimeter so that it's not at the point where you're going to get two notes in the hole when you blow but it is at the point where you get a nice um, draw bend on the bend So that hole is good now because basically I'm just getting one blow note. I can bend it. I'm not getting two notes. And when I do the draw bend, um, I'm just I can I can get onto that hit that draw bend sweetly without um, it blanking out. So that's the principle of um, adjusting the X reads. I'll probably do another video altogether on. Um, uh, how to tune the X reads because that's a whole topic in itself and it's it's really up to the individual because um, you know depend, depending on how how far you want to be able to bend the the new bends um, you can tune the X reads to, um, to to suit and you can even tune the X reads quite radically different to um, the pitches that they are um, you know the, the stock pitches you know they're configurable there's a lot you can have a lot of fun with these things and and you can really adjust them to your own um, particular playing style and um, and um, you know desire um, you can adjust them to your heart's desire but be careful make sure you know what read you're adjusting okay that's really important and I hope this video is um, you know given you the information to know what what to do now okay I'll stop waffling on and I'll say goodbye see ya